Okay guys and welcome to the Dance Tech um, Logic Pro tutorial series for beginners. This is the first chapter and it's all about the introduction to the program, the arrange page, the layout of the program, the protocol, how the grid, the snap and things like that all work. Okay, the basic overview to familiarize you with the program plus some tips and tricks and bits and bobs like that. Okay, so chapter one. Um, if you want to play along, then you should have your Logic Pro open, but without an actual song or project loaded. Okay, so you just have your Logic Pro Apple menu up here and a blank desktop. So we we'll go to File, New, and you're you're prompted to install a template. Okay. Now a template is like your software studio, all wired up with certain things added and wired up in a particular way to do different types of jobs all right and the um, templates are arranged into these collection folders okay and um, the first one is the explore collection which really is a product primer because you've simply got guitar tones and instruments and um, you load up either of those templates and you can audition the different guitar tones and software instruments that this logic 8 offers um, in the Compose collection you've got these templates for different genres. Okay, So the idea is these would each open up uh, a template ready to record some music um, with the appropriate sounding drum kit loaded and some appropriate types of instruments as well as audio tracks ready to record various things to complement that genre. And the Produce collection are kind of task based templates. You've got a couple of multi-track recording sessions ready to go here which one is stereo and one's, um, one's surround and then you've got a couple of mastering templates here stereo and surround and you drag your files into that to do mastering tasks uh, there's this music for picture one which would open up with some instruments ready to compose score plus a video track for importing your your footage yeah to compose to and there's a Pro Tools TDM config as well if you're working with Pro Tools hardware and um, you can create and save your own templates and we will come to that because that's quite important because that means that you can set Logic up to open up ready to work with all your favorite instruments loaded and ready to go and your favorite effects and your vocal channel set up just how you like it etc right? and um, you'll notice that all these collections have got empty project in them all right, so we're going to choose empty project left click on it and Logic opens, it's a range page, and you're prompted to install your first track. You have to do that, you can't cancel it. Okay, so um, you can choose an audio track to record audio, either from a line or mic input. Uh, you can install a software instrument track or an external MIDI track for sequencing, you know, an external hardware synth or drum box or sampler or something, okay? So we will choose software instrument and leave everything default. So multi-timbral and ascending a D ticked and open library should be ticked and this should say output 1, 2 and this should say track number 1 and create and Logic installs its first audio instrument track with this default green note and sort of sound wave icon which is the default icon for an audio instrument track and the library has opened here on the right because we ticked the box saying open the library when you add the track and so the library is opened here in this media column on the right because the media column has got look different tabs okay but it's opened on library and we can now browse through the different sound collections and choose a sound for our instrument track that we've created okay so this is kind of like the basic opening page that meets the brand new logic user and let's face it it's it's pretty damned intimidating isn't it and um, all we have to do is look if we look down here you've got this these tabs mixer sample editor piano roll score and hyper editor so let's say we were to open up the piano roll um, and you kind of look at it and think oh okay I get it the piano roll down here I do my editing and what have you but just look at what we've got I mean, this, this is the kind of default open page, and you've got the Apple Logic menu at the top, that's one menu, then you've got this large menu all along the top there, that's 
two menus. Then you've got this long grey silver menu bar all along here. That's three menus. Then you've got this left hand column with a couple of cryptic looking menus there. That's four. Then you've got another menu here along the top of the edit window below. You've got this whole thing on the side here. That's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six different areas. This has got different tabs and things. And finally at the bottom, apart from these tabs here, you've got your transport bar. I mean, it's just a hell of a lot to come to terms with. All right. So look, I'm just going to do a few things now. I'm going to close the piano roll. I'm just going to use some key commands now. Um, I'll come to those soon, key commands, and we'll show you some of the basic fundamental ones that you need. But just watch this. And finally, just click that oval button, then full screen logic. <clears throat> and now look at it. Doesn't that look simple? I mean, it's just so uncluttered. I mean, if you know, for a major sequencer, have you ever seen something so uncluttered as that? All right. And what we're looking at now is the basic raw arrange working area of Logic. Okay, this is where you build up your song. You record all your music in here, and you edit the parts and move them around and build up your arrangement. And this arrange area is divided into two halves. The left is the track list column where all your tracks live, descending vertically. And over here is the Arrange Grid, where all your audio and MIDI parts, all your music and all your automation for the mix and everything, all lives here. All right. And um, it's simplicity itself, isn't it? And this new Logic has been designed, it's a little bit kind of like Fruity Loops, they've designed this new Logic 8, I mean it's not new now, but you know what I mean, to be kind of like Fruity Loops in that you can work in this sort of single interface window and bring in editors down below when you need them. Okay, and um, the transport bar is just fixed along the bottom and can't be moved, you know. And um, they've also added that little bit of garage band thing where you've got um, the library on the right that pops up this column for selecting your sounds for instruments or your presets for effects. Okay, so that's a little garage band kind of tip there as well as the fixed transport bar, I suppose. And um, I like that single user interface. It's quite clever. And now that everyone can afford a, at least a 22 inch screen, I mean, they're only just over 100 pounds, uh, British pounds. I mean, most people have got a 21, 22 inch screen minimum. And, and you know, it, it really works using this single interface. Um, there's no need to have popping up edit windows flying over the top and things like that, you know. So look, that is now the cut down raw arrange area of logic and it's really really simple um, let's look at what I got rid of 